Good morning, believers. Good morning. Israel. <clears throat> All right, so before I get started, all praise is honor and glory to the Most High, the existent I am, Yahweh, Yahweh. the Adonai, the Master, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos and the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christos if you speak Latin, and the Holy Spirit that brings truth upon the people of God so that they can understand the wisdom, power, and knowledge of this book that's called the Word of Truth. Word of Truth. The spirit of truth, the word of truth. Let's let's look at a couple of these scriptures. So, um, I wanted to make some things clear, so that no one's um coming to this channel and going, um, he's trying to he's trying to fool me. He's trying to he's saying things that aren't true. Why does he call his channel Word of Truth if he? If he's talking a bunch of stuff that I don't believe in, just because you don't believe in it doesn't mean it's not the truth. So, let's talk about the word, the the meaning of truth to begin with, and then we'll go into what the Bible says about truth a little bit. So, the reason, see, what's interesting about how this has played out for me, this channel. So I named my channel Word of Truth, right? And so I'm this guy that um I I I like to be right. I really like to be right and I do not like to be wrong. And so that those two things go hand in hand. If you don't like being wrong, you're going to strive to be right. So what's the difference between right and wrong? Wrong is saying that I'm a woman. If I tried to tell you I'm a woman, you might actually believe me. Because you don't know the difference between right and wrong. You cannot tell that I'm a man. You've never seen my penis. You've never um, had me suck you in the lip or whatever. Or lift up a bunch of weight or... Um, just because I grow a beard doesn't mean I'm a man, right? So, um, the difference between right and wrong. Um, when you think of truth and right and wrong, what, I mean, I'm not just a Bible teacher. I'm a philosopher. I'm a, I'm, I study psychology. I study literature. I study just about, I know a little bit about just about everything. And so what I'm trying to bring to this channel is my wealth of knowledge of things that are true. Because one thing, someone who doesn't like to be wrong, one of the main tenets of someone who doesn't like to be wrong, they, they, they work really hard to make sure that what they're saying can't be disproved. <laughs> so, um... I have this strong affinity for um, truth. So when I when I come on to this channel and I talk about the Bible, the reason I'm so adamant about the things I say, a lot of it is because what I've found is true. And I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not, I was never short. I was never short bus guy. I, I don't want to brag because a 138 IQ isn't really that high. 
but a 138 IQ is going to set you apart from most people because you think differently. You have a different level of understanding. So when I say I have a different level of understanding, it all stems back to this intelligence level that the Lord gave me. And some people will um, just not get it just because they're, they're not at a high enough level. Some people will be at that level and deny it because they think they're smart also. And they probably are smart and they found something different than what I'm saying that, that jives with their reality. So some people are smart enough that they'll stick somewhere where they really shouldn't stick because they haven't looked into it. They think that they're smart, so they stay with that belief system. So what I'm trying to do on this channel, and that's what's been probably the most interesting thing about, um, see, if this was a real world, if this, if this world were actually real, J.D. Nye's and Jeff Deloach would have been treated a lot different because Jeff Deloach has um, certain characteristics that are should be um, respected, should be considered, should be um, brought brought up, not down. I, I, I shouldn't be oppressed. Truth should not be oppressed. Truth should rise to the top. So what we're seeing, what I've noticed in this world in and why I probably got so upset is because um, it's always been the same Ge regeneration for me. You come back, you come back, you come back. A lot of people don't believe that. I I know it's true. I, I believe that's part of my faith is that the Lord told me, oh, yeah, you've been here before. Oh, yeah, you're, you're of Judah, of Benjamin. See, that's where faith kicks in. Do you listen to God? Do you believe what he says to me? He said, you're Adonijah. I went, who the hell's that? And I just went into Adonijah. He's not, he's not a great guy, but he's a God guy. And so the, the, the fact of the matter is what I'm trying to convey right here with truth is that, um, does Adonijah have something you don't have, even though he wasn't a good guy? Does Judas Iscariot have things that you have that you don't know that that you can't even imagine just because you think he wasn't a good guy? What about Cain? So when you look when you when you look at the world and you look at the things that we're um, we're researching, is your mind open enough to say um, there's a lie here that I have to see through? So when I'm going through these these what I've learned is you can't teach someone the truth. People love lies and people will be comfortable in their lies. And um, I have to remember that I can't, I can't make you, I can't make you come to the truth. I can't. It's, it's all I can do is get you to think more truthfully, more powerfully in the fact that can you stand by what you say can you even if you can't prove it can you say hey, I know it's true you can believe what you want I can't prove it to you but I know it's true that's where faith comes in do you know that the Lord's your Savior do you know that will you stand by that even to the end and the Lord says it all the time you're going to deny me when the men come to you and it's life or death, you know what you're going to do? You're going to fold like a wet envelope. You know why? Because there has been no truth in your life. So you don't know if that's true or not. So what this channel, what this channel, it's, it's basically been a learning experience for me and, and maybe some of you, I, I don't know. Um, I hope that, even you people that are new and you're listening to me right now, you're listening to me for the first time. Here you are. Welcome. Um, you come to this channel to not only learn things about the Bible that people aren't teaching, um, things about Israel that, that no one cares about, 
Um, it's like, it's like meeting your wife's family for the first time that lives in, let's just, just go all the way to Transylvania. You heard, heard so many things about Transylvania and your wife is such a nice person. She has that dark raven hair and those dark eyes and, um, you think she's just wonderful. She's a beautiful person. She's nice to you. You have a couple beautiful dark haired, dark eyed kids and you go to meet her parents in Transylvania and she's told you some things, but she hasn't told you everything and you meet the family and you find out something that totally blows your mind. Um, do you have to put away all those beliefs that you had that weren't true? Or do you find out her dad's a fucking vampire? Ah! That's what I'm saying. You don't know till you get there. Yeah, the dad's a vampire. You didn't know that. You thought that they were just dark haired, dark. You go to Transylvania. Her dad is a damn vampire. He's been on this earth for many times and he's not a nice vampire. He's not a nice angel. He's a demon vampire. And you married into that family and now you have a couple demon vampire kids. How's that feel? Not good. That's my life. <laughs> um, and so if these things have happened to me where I'm like, um, the, the Lord keeps correcting me. Okay. I, th I believe something and I'm like, okay, cool. I know that one. And then all of a sudden, bam, you get socked upside the head and the Lord goes, see how you, how wrong you were. The Lord, if the Lord does that to you enough times, and that's why it's good to be close to the Lord because he'll train you. He'll train you to know truth from lie. And now in these last days where the lies are practically everywhere. And this is the point. Let me see what I got. This is the point I'm trying to make about truth, people. Um, this place is full of lies. And here I am training you in the truth trying to train whoever's here i'm trying to train you in the truth and i'm i'm designed to do it that's what part of my gift is is to Break down truth from lie. And um, what else could I say about that? All right, let's just go into the scriptures because I just want to make that clear. You know, a lot of people are like probably thinking I'm um, just some kind of drugged out Bible teacher that's going off on all these tangents. If I come off to you that way, it's because your mind's been trained to think that anyone that doesn't look like um, a pastor that you're used to seeing, or if you don't have a garment on and black skin and you're not on the corner, um, you don't have truth, or whatever whatever your mind has told you is true about the Bible. Oh, he's a, he's not Catholic. He can't be. He can't be God. Um, he's not this that whatever, and that's the part. That's the most interesting part of where I'm sitting here talking to you about truth is that I've learned so much and now I'm go I'm going to start um, bringing these things forward. What have I learned? What have what has JD Niger learned? For one, truth is not important in this world. People are so blinded, so deaf, and the Lord has completely let Satan and the people. It's not so much the Lord let Satan do it. You have to agree with him. And what I've learned is a lot of you people are in agreement with Satan. You guys all talk about him like, oh, I'm going to stand away from Satan. I'm going, but he's your daddy. You listen to everything he says. Just saying, that's what I've learned. That's one of the things I've learned. People love Satan. They love to talk about the fallen angels like they're like 
like, watch out, they're there. they're after me. I'm, I'm, thank God I'm strong, I'm not. But at the same time, you're falling for everything he's telling you. That's, that's, that's one of the biggest things I've learned. This world is ruled by lies and people don't want to hear the truth. They don't even want to think about the truth. My channel is called Word of Truth. How many people see that and go, I don't want to go there. Um, we could talk about all the lies that they've told us. Everything. The moon landing, lie. The buildings coming down from planes, lie. Some of these shootings out here, fake as hell. People are going, oh no, he, he, he did it. This is a world of lies, people. And so when I say word of truth, I'm not just, I'm not just fighting with these um, black Hebrew Israelites because of the Bible. I'm fighting for truth. It, it, a lot of it has nothing to do with faith. It has to do with, can you see truth? And what they're doing is they're gaslighting people and they're not listening to reason. So what happens is they break down your reason by continuing to tell these lies over and over again until the point where you're all, I don't know what's true and you give up. Or you fall into the lie and you just go, yep. I believe it. I, 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 it makes sense to me. They, they must be the ones or whatever it is that, that it is. So what, what we're seeing in this world is um, the devil doesn't give up. The, the, the Satan, Satan and his demons, man. So what happens? Satan makes that person a demon, makes that person a demon. How does he make them a demon? He gets them to run from the truth. And so um, I guess I, I, I need to get this out right now because my heart is so brutally broken by lies I and that's that's what you that, biblically that's what you need to realize is that if there's someone that's standing by the truth to their own hurt if I'm standing by the truth to my own hurt you can you can argue with me you can get every other third monkey brain to stand against me and say oh no we went to the moon Oh no, look, didn't you see the pictures of the plane hitting the building? That doesn't mean anything. You could have a hundred people over there. What am I going to do? I'm going to stand by the fact that I know this place is full of lies. And if that's true, so be it. But um, the point I would be making by standing apart is saying, it very well could be a lie and how do you know? Did you, were you in that building watching the plane fly in? Nope, neither was I. So what I'm saying is you have to use your own eyes. Does this look like a spinning wet ball rocket to you? It kind of does because we have balls in the sky. We have a couple big balls, but that, does that mean that we're, a, we're spinning around those balls or are what your eyes tell you, do those balls spin around us? Does this place look round or does it look flat? It looks pretty flat to me. I look, I'd look out at the ocean every day. From horizon to horizon, it's it's flat as a board. Can you convince me we're on a, a spinning wet ball rocket? They haven't done a very good job of it with their CGI pictures. So if you believe we're on a spinning wet ball rocket, you probably should go to another channel because your, your ability to know truth, you, you've been so blinded you can't even believe your own eyes. Truth, Hebrew, I've gone into this before because my channel is called Word of Truth. Emet, em, emet, truth, emet, um, apostrophe E-M-E-T in the Hebrew. This term signifies truth that conforms to a standard. What's a, what's a standard? A standard is, can you, can you, in, in, can you set a, a boundary to what, um, how you believe what truth is. Do you believe your eyes? Do you believe your ears? Do you believe your own heart? Do you believe your own mind? Can someone tell you that the sky is rainbow colored and you believe that? You Your standard is way too low. 
you need to say, I, I've seen rainbows, but um, most of the time the, the sky isn't rainbow colored. Mostly it's blue, gray, some sometimes kind of white. The clouds turn white, a lot of white, a lot of light color, like light streaming through whatever color that is. It's, it's light against darkness. It's a lot of blue, light blue, dark blue sometimes. Um, a lot of gray clouds. That's the color of the sky. Is there is there times when the sky has rainbow colors? There is, but does that mean that the sky is rainbow colored? Not 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 for the standard. For the standard, it's gray, blue, white, gray, blue, white. Sometimes brown. If there's smoke. <laughs> so it's a, there's a standard to truth. So part of this channel, I'm trying to get you people to realize you need to break your mindset and find a standard where your brain will not be fooled by people telling you things that are true sometimes. Oh, well, it's rainbow colored because there's rainbows. So now you're going to go around going, nope, I love the rainbow colored sky. And then all of a sudden everyone's saying it. Um, either to created reality or God standards. What's created reality? That's what I was just talking about. The, the sky, the shape of the earth. It was created. How was it created? If you believe the Bible, it was water separated from waters. Waters above, waters below. And if there's above and below, that doesn't... that. There can't be any ball spinning around because there would be no above and below because it would be changing all the time. And that's what the devil tries to do is make you think truth can change all the time. You need to you need to break out of that. And so that's what I've all I've been trying to do when I say, do you understand is there's certain things that are true. And especially the Bible, there's things about the Bible that are true that people do not want to believe. And so this is probably one of the hardest truths because the devil hates the Bible. He hates the truth of the Bible. So what, I, what am I doing? I'm sitting out here fighting the devil for you people. I've been fighting the devil for a long time, ever since I've gotten here, and I'm still doing it. And you know what? What do you do? You break my heart. Let me see how much time I got. Okay, we're going to get through truth, and then we're going to go into some scriptures. I'll be back. Truth. This term signifies truth that conforms to a standard, emet, either to created reality or God's standards. Truth is often associated with mercy, especially God's mercy. And we're going to go to that in Psalm 117. Mercy. How, how does he have mercy? He has mercy on you when you believe the truth. Truth is precious. Truth is precious, people. You know, I guess I need to go back to 101 once in a while. I'm hoping, I, I was always hoping that there would be people going, wow, this guy's making me think. Um, I'm going to come back and listen once in a while and understand him on a standard. So another thing I've under, that, that I've realized is you can't just move forward um, and people can understand what you're saying by your context, by your style, by your um, by your pointing certain things out over and over again. Um, this is a 3D junkyard. That's one of the ones that anyone that hears, hears that is supposed to go, what does he mean by that? 3D junkyard. Three-dimensional, kind of dirty, kind of full of lies, deception, um, all kinds of pratfalls. Um, so that's supposed to be a part that grabs anyone that has a thinking mind to go, this guy's talking about things that I'm not sure of. And then you just keep coming back to hear me say other things that you're not sure of. And that's how you're supposed to build on something. Um, <clears throat> you have to basically start over every time you do a video because... People's ability to understand contextual verbiage 
and um, insightful um, phraseologies. Whoa! Really, really poor, really poor. Truth is precious, and in its absence was lamented by the prophets. Why am I so friggin' do you understand about the truth? Why am I that way? Because it's precious, people. It's precious. I'm giving you, like, the gift of the century, the gift of eternity. I'm giving you the gift of eternity. And um, you would rather watch MSNBC or Fox News or listen to somebody spout all kinds of complete nonsense. Um, God des desires truth in the inward parts of his people. Psalm 15, 2. It is the basis of a lifestyle that pleases him. I'll be back. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I'll be back.